Good morning, Triple F team. Welcome back. We're going to start this video off in the kitchen. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing really quick um, before we head outside. You know that we're on 10.4 acres and we've had some predator issues in the past not recently um, with our chickens and our ducks but we are have been in the process all throughout um, trying to catch predators so we've caught raccoons we've caught possums and pretty much this is what I do I use an egg which this is one of our duck eggs and it's an old dirty one that was hidden somewhere because the ducks like to hide their eggs. And then I put a clunk of peanut butter on it. And then I put this out in the cage. And I'll show you guys the cages. We're going to go outside. But this is pretty much all I use to catch the raccoons and the possums and uh, use it as bait in our live animal traps. Okay, you guys. So let's head on out and find where the traps are. Now, when we purchase the traps, you see right now here, these are traps, but we don't use these traps. And these are the smaller traps. And the reason why we don't use them is because they just don't work. They're too small for the predators that we're trying to catch out here. So when you buy the traps, I think we got them from either Rule King or Tractor Supply or probably both. But when you buy the traps, it comes with one large trap and one small trap. Good morning, Ike. Good morning, girls. So I'm going to take you guys over here. I don't know exactly where the traps are. Uh, Rory and my dad, I know they're back here, but they usually put them in different spots. But we have the large traps out here. We put them in the back, but not too far back because, I mean, you guys, we go all the way back. There's no other land or anybody else behind us. We own all this land back here. So we're talking about <laughs> 10 and a half acres. So, you know, we try to put them in an area somewhere in the woods with the skyline, uh, with not with the skyline, but with the sight line to the chickens and the ducks because we know this is where they're going to go towards the chickens and the ducks. And we do a little maneuvering with them. We hide them a bit under some stuff we've cut down or some brush. But as you can see, this is one of the large traps right here. And you see there's already something in it. So we've caught a possum this morning, and that's why I wanted to bring you guys out here, but I didn't bring the egg with me. I'm assuming the trap has probably moved. I don't think the trap was exactly right here. Rory might have had it like under this little area. But I think this is like the third possum that we've caught back to back to back because I came live the other day and showed you guys a possum. At first we were just catching raccoons. <laughs> And I think we might have caught two or three raccoons, but now it seems every single thing that we catch is a possum. And we will um, handle it appropriately how we see fit. And I'm gonna leave that off of the video. I might go live later. For you guys who um, are new to our channel, welcome to Foster Family Fun. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I do go live and I don't have a schedule. So when you have the notification bell turned to all, turned on and turned to all, then you'll get notified when I go live. And see, here's another live trap. And 
looks like I need to put an egg back here because for some reason, oh no, there's an egg there. There's a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> but we use these big traps because that's what works because the possums and the raccoons are too big to fit in the small traps. But you get two for one, so I mean, what can you do? And then um, these are live animal traps. So if we catch something that we don't want to catch, then we just will let it go. And that's why we have live animal traps and we haven't altered them to, you know, kill anything once it gets in the trap. We just leave it as live animal traps. And so once we dispatch of this one in here, then what I showed you earlier, the egg, and the peanut butter, we'll just put it right back in the trap and set it somewhere different and then we'll be ready to go. But we're trying to catch them and get them before they get over to Ike and the girls over here, our chickens and our ducks that we're raising. Because we've already lost some, probably like about back in, I think it was like November was the last time we lost something. So it's been a while. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick what we use to um, catch our predators. We use the egg and the peanut butter and we put it in the live animal traps and we just set them out here on the land. It has, I mean, of course, at times the predators have been a little sneaky and tricky and have been able to get the egg out without snapping the track or trap or they've dug underneath it but for the most part it has been really effective it's worked really well for us I would say we've been out um, out here with the traps um, for about maybe like five months we've been setting the traps out and we've caught about six predators so between possums and raccoons that's the only thing we've caught so far out here and it's worked well for us and we're just going to continue to put the traps out and uh catch those predators this way before they get to our um, chickens and ducks and you guys have seen in previous videos and previous lives where we lost a couple chickens and we lost a duck but like i said earlier in the video we haven't lost anything since then Oh, you guys, just one more side note I wanted to put in the video because I know that some of you have asked before in our comment sections um, of our live when I've showed the predators what we do with our um, raccoons or possums once we dispatch of them is we take them to the dump. So um, we don't bury them here on the land. The you guys, we got a lot of predators out here besides just possums and raccoons. So that smell alone is going to just draw more predators um, to try to dig that up. So we don't bury it. We don't burn it out here. Um, if it's a day where the garbage man is coming, then we will um, just throw it out with the rest of the garbage. But our garbage man, like today is a Friday and our garbage man doesn't come till Tuesday. So... Um, Rory and my dad are already going out to the dump today to um, drop off some of the cuttings for the land clearing they've done. So they'll just go ahead and take the possum out there. But I just wanted to put that in there really quick as a side note of what we do, how we get rid of it. And I know some people going to ask too, no, we don't eat it. <laughs> We're not having any possum stew or possum soup tonight. So if you haven't done so already, you guys, and you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Foster Family Fun videos. Thanks for watching!